there have been several complaints about the COVID-19 testing regime at the Kotoka International Airport. And in fact, these complaints are becoming one too many. Apart from the several posts on social media, there was a case of the Secretary General of AFTA, and even much recently that of the Jamaican dancehall artist Biniman. Well, today we will be hearing from a US-based Liberian who flew into Ghana and says she faced the same challenges as those popular characters in the past. How many flights do you take uh, from the U.S. towards Ghana? Well, if I may calculate, I took two to Monrovia, I took one to Nigeria, and I took one here. That would be the total of, say, about four. Okay. I was tested in the U.S. before getting to Liberia. I was tested in Liberia when I landed. I was tested in Liberia before leaving for Nigeria. I was tested in Nigeria and everything was negative. The Ghanaian COVID test said positive. I told her, it's not adding up. Can I do it over? Did she give you the chance to do it again? No. So, so have you had any tests after um, that test was uh, made at uh, the airport? I showed it because I knew they were giving me no fake or, or result that was not making sense. Mm -hmm. On the 29th, I went to the airport clinic. Mm -hmm. I did a COVID test. Okay. And the 30th, I went to Yahoo okay. and I did a COVID test at Yahoo and it was what? Negative. My flight was for the 30th to go back and obviously I'm right here. I had to change my flight. That makes me feel very uncomfortable. Accusations about the validity and authenticity of test results have been challenged by the Ghana Health Service and Frontiers, who maintain the results churned out at the airport are valid. Well, judging from this, the Ghana Health Service might have to do more to win the trust of many who might use the excuse of these complaints to temper with the safety of the masses. Judith Awotritando, TV3 News, Accra.